church family, thank you for joining us for our last daily devotional of the week. And we're going to be finishing up our time in Romans chapter one and on the topic of encouragement and how we use that in messy relationships. And and so we've uh, been kind of following this introduction that Paul writes to the church in Rome. And we've seen his desire to be with uh, the people there. We've seen his desire to encourage them and to build them up. And now we, we see something uh, kind of from Paul. Uh, Paul has shown this desire to encourage them, but we're going to see that Paul also is desiring encouragement from them. And so we see in Romans chapter 1, verse 12, uh, he says, That is to be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. So what Paul says, hey, not only do I want to encourage you, and we know in verse 11, if you watched yesterday, not only do I want to teach you and build you up in spiritual gifts, but I also want to be encouraged by you. Uh, I think that one of the most encouraging things that that we do sometimes as Christians is just get together and talk about uh, our faith and talk about how God's moving in us and among us. Some of my favorite times in ministry has been at different camps or events where there's been other student pastors, and we can take a moment and just sit down and talk about what's working and what's not working in student ministry and and how we're doing and and things we need to get better at and things we can encourage one another in. And I think that's no different in the church. Uh, if I were to, to tell you a story of evangelism, how God used me in that way, it would encourage you to want to go and do the same. And this is not new. This is not something that's just come about in recent years. I mean, if you look in Acts and we see the very first church, it said they would gather together in Solomon's colonnade. They would get together and they would talk about their week. They would talk about uh, how the Lord was moving among them. And this caused growth. This caused growth in their church. It caused caused growth in, in discipleship among one another. We need to encourage each other. We need to encourage each other not just to, to keep on going, but we need to encourage each other in our faith to keep pursuing Christ, to keep growing in a relationship with him. We need to hold each other accountable in that encouragement. And, and I'm sure that even as I talk about this, you can think of people who have encouraged you. A lot of times that person is a minister or, or a Sunday school teacher or a small group leader or maybe it's just a prominent person in the church, but I know that someone has come to your mind who has encouraged you and you know the impact that they had on your life. And so I just want to say, hey, why don't you go be that person to others? Why don't we encourage people, encourage other people? Because just as we are encouraging them, guess what? We're going to be encouraged too. It's a mutual, it's a mutual thing, right? As we build others up, we too will be built up. So the, the writer of our devotion gives us two questions to kind of walk through. One is, who do you know that lives faithfully even when it's difficult? How have they been an encouragement to you? Um, the writer who, who wrote that question had no clue that we were going to be in the circumstances we are today. The published date is, is long before uh, now. But that I, I believe that question is, is very, point, uh, very pointed now. You know, and it has a lot of relevance now as we walk through a difficult time. Who is someone even now who has remained faithful and how have they been an encouragement to you? And then that second question, how are you walking side by side with Christian friends in order to encourage them? Man, let's let's evaluate our lives. Let's see not just the ways that we have been encouraged, but let's see how we could be encouraging others. Hey, church family, thank you so much for being willing to sit down and watch these videos with us and join with us as we kind of dig in God's word. More than anything, what we want you to know right now is that we love you.